In Blender, we have two main ways to destroy things, with rigid body simulations and particles. In this video, we'll see the rigid body's way. Let's create a basic scene like this. The model of the lion was downloaded from the public domain collection of Sketchfab. You can create any scene you want. This is just an example. We have a lion statue and a metal ball that, of course, will destroy the 3D model. Place the lion on the ground and the ball above it. First of all, we have to convert these objects into rigid bodies. Select the ground and, in the physics properties, click on rigid bodies. Then, select passive in the type menu. This means that the ground can collide with others' rigid bodies, but is not subject to forces such as gravity and so on. Now, select the lion and the ball and do the same as before, but this time select active in the type menu. These objects have to react to the gravity and others' forces. Okay, if you start the simulation, the ball simply falls to the floor as we expect to do. But we need the ball to hit the lion. In order to do that, we have to give the ball an initial trajectory. So, let's add a keyframe in the start position and another one just before where we want the ball to hit the lion. But the ball still falls to the ground. This because we have to tell Blender when the ball has to be manually animated and when has to follow the rigid body simulation. This is done with the animated property. Move the timeline just before the final position and add a new keyframe for this property. In the next frame, uncheck this parameter and add a new keyframe. Basically, this means that in the first part of the animation, the ball is manually animated, while in the second part, it is subject to the gravity and collisions, and, indeed, the ball hits the lion and makes it move a bit. You can adjust some parameters in your simulation to make it more real. For example, you can change the mass both of the lion and the ball. This is exactly as in the real life. The higher the mass, the stronger the impact. You can also increase the friction of the objects. However, whatever the mass of the ball, the lion is never destroyed. This because we have to manually create the fractures in the model. The best way to do that is by drawing some lines where we want the fractures to happen. Select the pencil, set surface as placement option, and then draw some lines where the ball hits the mesh Now, in the Quick Effects menu, choose Cell Fracture. This will break the mesh in many pieces. You have to select Annotation Pencil as Point Source and define the limit of the points where the object will be broken. 20 or 30 can be a good value. You can also increase the noise. Finally, set a collection where to place all the pieces. The lion is broken in many pieces, most of them where we drew the lines. Remember to remove the rigid body simulation from the original mesh. Now we have to add all the pieces to the simulation. Select all the collection and in the rigid body menu, choose Add Active. This automatically transforms all the objects in rigid bodies. And if you start the simulation, at the beginning they fall to the ground. But this is not what we want. They have to break only when the ball hits the mesh. In order to do that, we have to animate the dynamic property. This sets whether the object is part of the simulation. We have to create two keyframe and activate the simulation just before the ball hits the lion. So, in the first keyframe, deactivate the dynamic property and activate it in the next keyframe. In order to copy the animation to the other pieces, select all the objects and from the Link Data menu, choose Link Animation Data. Very good. Now all the pieces only break when the ball hits the surface of the lion. 
As you can see, this is a useful way to destroy things in Blender. However, there is an issue, as we have to broke the mesh before the collision. In some cases, the fractures are clearly visible. However, we can precisely define where we want the object to be broken. In addition, all the pieces are solid objects. In another tutorial, we'll see how to destroy things with the particles and the related pros and cons. Remember to subscribe to the channel in order to stay updated with upcoming videos.